Hello, can everybody hear us? Looks like Alan and Miriam, is it? From Germany? And Alan from Brazil? Are you able to hear us? Alan and Miriam, could you uh, maybe just post a question? You should see a question box, and that way we know you're able to hear us. Hi, Miriam. I'm Mike. I am a international student advisor. And with me is Bethany. Hi, I'm Bethany. I work in the admissions office, actually admitting um, international students and kind of helping with that process with the application. And Miriam, you probably worked with um, Vicki Kester um, with your application process. And Alan, um, I worked with you and Julie worked with you. Um, Vicki is actually in uh, Europe right now visiting some of our partner schools, but I don't think she's going to Germany at this point. Um, and Alan, I know you're currently in Milwaukee and um, you should be set with classes. I think Julie was trying to get you into one more. Um, so um, if you have any questions, go ahead and just start typing away. That's what we're here for. We do have a couple of slides um, that we'll cover with some information, but I think both of you um, have probably already done some of this. Uh, Miriam, have you set up your email address and um, and signed your fee payment agreement and gotten into some classes? Just go ahead and type in the Q&A. Okay, great. So we won't cover that then because both of you have done that. Um, hopefully we'll get some more students coming on board. Um, do you have, either of you have any questions right away that we can answer? Okay, I'm not seeing any right now. So I'll just go over a couple of slides that we have. Um, so this is some of the information that you might already know, um, but we'll just quickly cover it again. Um, we are in Menominee, Menominee, Wisconsin. Um, we're about an hour from Minneapolis, St. Paul, and that's where you should fly into. And Alan, I know, um, I sent you an email about the bus since you're already in Wisconsin. Um, if you can just give me that information, um, that would be great. And we'll try and try and work that out. But Minneapolis St. Paul is the airport that you fly into. And then there's a, a Chippewa Valley Airport Service shuttle that hopefully, Marion, you've reserved. Um, and there's a link section, I believe on your uh, chat as well that um, provide some link opportunities directly to that site if you need to still reserve it. And then also, if both of you could just let us know when um, when you are planning to arrive, that would be great. That way we'll pick you up right at the hotel if you arrive on the 20th. <clears throat> um, and the hotel is where the shuttle drops off, by the way. It'll be dropped off at the Triple uh, sorry, the uh, Country Inn and Suites hotel and Menominee is really small so um, we'll be able to pick you up right away and um, bring you to campus because you'll both be living in the dorms. 
A um, lot of students, though, when they're here um, or during their time here, visit Chicago. Um, we've had some students recently go out to Los Angeles and New York and um, I think Seattle as well. Um, so there are some downtime and plenty of travel opportunities for you if you want to. Menominee is about 16,000 people. Um, very, very small town. Um, yeah, anything to add? I mean, there's a lot to do. There's a lot of activities going on in the community and on campus. So if you're wondering about, you know, you think about small towns and not having a lot to do, but um, I think Menominee is a very active community. So you'll find a lot of things to do within um, the community and on campus both. So you might know that we are um, a laptop campus. So you get about, I think it's about $4,000 in software to use on, the, on your laptop while you're here um, during your stay. And um, so you don't need to bring your own laptop if you don't want to. Our tech support, we have an on-site tech support that provides anything that you need, replacement laptops if you need it, um, fixes additional software if you're taking a specialized class. And um, so we really recommend that you use the Stout laptop because you're um, it's part of tuition anyways. So you're, you're sort of paying for it anyways. So you might as well take advantage of the services, services that come along with it. Um, I've also taken a lot of classes here and, and more and more instructors are, are starting to use these laptops within the classroom. And the laptops that the university provides are one that the, your instructors are most familiar with. So they'll be able to um, to assist you in the classroom if you need anything, or or make sure that um, content is consistent and formatting is consistent as well. So we really recommend that you use this laptop um, that we provide you, and you'll be getting that, um, I believe, on the Wednesday, the first day of orientation, um, at, right after the orientation. So a little bit about Stout. Um, we're a uh, fairly small school. We have uh, about 9,000 students on campus and 350 international students from about 35 different countries. We have a lot of students from Saudi Arabia. They make up about half of that population of international students. And we do have a few students, a couple of students from Germany and about 30 students from Brazil. Um, we have really cl small class sizes and you get to really know your professor well um, and along with your other students. Um, we have quite a few labs on campus too, so you hopefully get a lot of hands-on experience in your fields. Um, and you're both exchange students, so we don't really need to go over this. Um, but this is a cost that you can find on our website. Uh, Marion, I know you you have to look at housing and, and food expenses and stuff. Um, we do rent all of our textbooks here, so you don't have to buy any textbooks, which is really, really nice, and that saves probably a couple thousand dollars. Um, so that's a really nice service, and um, I really enjoyed it. But we'll, we'll talk about that during orientation as well. Um, you know, yeah. So uh, there's a lot of different services available to students on campus. Um, one thing that I, I often tell students is to take advantage of kind of the tutor centers, the writing centers. Um, if you're struggling in any classes or um, need a little extra help, your professors are, are really helpful, but a lot of times they're going to um, point you in the direction of, you know, taking advantage of some of those tutoring sessions, they are free for students. So you don't have to pay for, you know, getting extra help with those. Um, we also have um, career counseling, which I'm, I'm not sure if you'll take much advantage of that, but. Alan, um, you will. Okay. You will as part of your BSMP program. You have to do an internship or co-op, and so we'll help you with that part sure. of it as well. Okay, perfect. And so, yeah, a lot of different, um, support services on campus. Do either of you have any questions at this point? No.
No questions? Okay, so International Student Services, that's what uh, our office does. Um, we, that's what we really concentrate on. We provide an orientation program. And so when you arrive on the 20th, bring your immigration documents, um, your DS-2019 and your passport to our office and we'll help you with that. And, um, and then on the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, there's an orientation where speakers from a variety of services and academics across campus um, come and present to the group. It looks like we'll have about 40 students here during this orientation. Um, so it's a smaller group, which will be nice for you so you can ask more questions and get to know the speakers. Um, we have the chief of police for typically for Menominee, the city of Menominee and our campus come in. We have student health services, business services, um, housing, we talk about housing, um, health insurance, whole bunch of things throughout the three days. And then on that following Saturday, we also um, provide a free bus and transportation to the Mall of America for a pretty long day of shopping at the largest mall in the US. So um, students look forward to that. Also during orientation, like I said earlier, you'll get your laptop and um, if you still have any class scheduling issues to, to uh, work through, we'll help you with that during that time too. Um, um, we'll talk about immigration policy for J1 students and F1 students, we just don't have any on the call right now. Um, you'll be checked into your residence hall right away on the 20th when you come in. And um, if you want to, we have a host a friendship family program where you can meet um, local members of the community and maybe they'll take you out to a movie or celebrate a holiday or something like that um, throughout the year. And um, new this year, we also have a connections program that hopefully you've received an email about. Um, it went to your Stout email. Um, we will be resending it again to your personal email though. Um, this is a new program that we're trying to start up to connect international students with students who've been on campus for a while, just to help them get acquainted. Um, and most of them are domestic students, so you get to meet some Americans and good opportunity to, um, to be invited to some events and, and meet some new friends. Um, so I really encourage you to sign up for that soon so we can start matching you with the best um, fit. And then we also have an American Cultural Immersion course if you're interested in learning more about culture and uh, the American culture and, and different systems within the culture. And Vicki, um, Kester, my colleague, works on that part of it. Our office does sponsor a lot of activities. Like I said, to the Mall of America, we usually go once or twice a year, a uh, semester. Um, there's various festivals that we might go to, maybe a fair, depending on how long you're here. Um, there's holiday events. We just celebrated Christmas and, and kind of the end of this um, fall semester with the students recently, this a uh, few weeks ago. Um, and at the end, we'll, we'll have a big graduation party and, and end of the year celebration as well for all the international students. There's a soccer club. Um, we sponsor um, a couple of films a year and a variety of community events. And Marian, if, um, I'm not sure if you're receiving the scholarship or not because of your change, but, um, there's, for both of you, there's a lot of opportunities to get involved in the community and, and volunteer. Um, International Week, we might have something, a small version of it in the spring, but that's normally in the fall. Um, but there's a lot of opportunities to celebrate culture throughout the year in both semesters. We have an International Relations Club um, that's very active, and Vicki leads that as well. Um, but then we also have about 145 other student organizations that you can join um, 
and it's a good way to to um, to meet other students, get some friends, um, or really get professional connections in your uh, chosen field. So that's really all we had to cover, I think. Did did you guys have any questions at all? Any questions? I'm not seeing any, but um, we'll be here for a little bit longer if you do have any questions. Oh, here's one. What is the equipment of the dorms like? Uh, what do I need to bring? Good question. Um, in the dorm, there is, um, uh, both of you will be living with a roommate, and each side of the room basically has the exact same thing. You have a dresser, a desk, you have a shared refrigerator, um, I believe there's a microwave in the dorm, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. um, a bed. A bed. That's a, that's a big one. Um, and then a closet to hang up some of your clothes as well. Um, and then also each dorm has a kitchen area where you can cook your own food, but most of your food you'll probably eat um, on campus in our cafeterias. Um, so what you need to bring for your dorm is, is not really a whole lot. Um, we will take you shopping on the evening of the 20th um, to Walmart, which is a fairly large um, store that carries pretty much everything you need. Um, and so there you can get some food. Um, we recommend a, a blanket and pillow, of course, and the dorm um, mattresses are a specific size. So it's extra um, I think it's small, extra long or something. Yeah. And so um, that's a pretty unique size and Walmart typically carries those. So we'll help you pick those out. Um, other than that, bring obviously clothes, maybe personal a couple items. items. Yeah. Yeah, personal items, um, items from home that um, will help you stay connected with home. Um, and Make sure you carry your passport and immigration documents with you. Don't check them because you need them to get in the U.S. and you'll need them before you get your luggage. So, um, and just in case your luggage is lost, so make sure you pack those separately. Um, you may want to bring, I don't know, some a book or some music or games or something. Um, but other than that, just kind of the basic things. Bathrooms are actually, um, there's a few bathrooms, I think two bathrooms on each floor. So it, they're not separate within the, the dorm room specifically. It's a shared bathroom with um, other people on your floor. And they have showers and everything in, in those rooms, in the, in the bathrooms on the floor. I will put up another link here. Just give me a second. Um, but if you're interested in touring or learning more about housing, and I think you can actually tour some of the rooms. Um, So you should see the housing link. It's just uwstout.edu slash housing. <clears throat> and 
and um, there's room and loft options, living options. Um, both of you will be in shared um, standard dorms and most likely living in North Hall. That's um, where we have a lot of our international students housed, but there's also a lot of domestic students, American students live there as well. Um, so hopefully that will help. And there's laundry facilities provided in the dorm as well. So you'll be able to, you know, do your own laundry on campus in the dorm. You won't have to go off campus to do that. Historic Bowman Hall. Any other questions? I'm also posting a link right now to a virtual tour that you might be interested in so you can see campus. Um, before you come. Did either of you have any other questions? Please make sure you fill out the arrival information form um, and, and set up your shuttle service. And then I believe both of you are already, already in most of your classes and um, in housing, so you should be set there. Yes, um, Marion asked if there are any public transportation to Minneapolis and the area, surrounding area during the semester. Yeah, the Chippewa Valley Airport service does run 13 times a day now. Um, it is a charge of, I think it's $33 from a nominee one way. There, sometimes they do run specials to Minneapolis just during the day. So if you want to come, go up and come back the same day, they might run a special sometimes. Um, Otherwise, a lot of students have cars here and they go to Minneapolis quite often. So once you start meeting people, you can usually find a ride to Minneapolis and back. Um, and um, I don't know what else I was going to say with that. Um, oh, the Involvement Center here on campus also provides a couple of trips to Minneapolis um, each semester, usually one to the Mall of America and one maybe to a sports game or something. Once you're at the Mall of America or even the airport, there is a light rail train that goes um, quite a few places throughout that area. Um, and then back in Menominee, we have a shuttle bus that runs um, it's one to two buses, really, and a couple of taxis um, that run through the city and around campus and then also to Walmart and a few extra places like restaurants and stuff. Um, and then it also three times a day during the week, it goes to Eau Claire, which is a bigger city. It's actually a city that I live in. And once you're there, you can get um, bus transportation throughout Eau Claire. And it's just a little bit shorter trip to than Minneapolis and it's a smaller city. Um, it's about so, 30 minutes, yeah. yeah. But there's like shopping and, and a few more things to do if you're looking for something like that. Are we, we Alan is asking, are we required to go to the hotel that you indicated or can we go to campus by ourselves? And Alan, you can go to campus uh, by yourself. The bus, um, depending on which one you're taking, I think we'll actually drop off at our student center. Just email me which one you're taking and so we can get that worked out. Um, and then actually, if it does drop off at the student center, um, they'll be right next to or a half a block down from the dorm that you're staying in. So that will be really, really convenient. Miriam, the shuttle only drops off at the um, at that specific hotel. So assuming you're coming in on the 20th during the day, um, just let us know and we'll be able to pick you up and meet you there and take you straight to the dorm.
Other questions? All right, I am not seeing any, but um, my email address is l-e-e-m-i at uwstout.edu. And Bethany's? Mine is um, r-i-s-l-e-r-b, Rissler b at uwstout.edu. And okay. yeah, so if you have any questions, um, feel free to email either of us. Um, Actually, we, we did miss a question. So Marion, you're arriving on the 18th. Um, I think you'll have to stay at the hotel um, on until the 20th because the dorms don't open until the 20th. Um, and I would probably recommend, you can certainly stay at the Country Inn and Suites. It's a very nice hotel. Um, also right next door to that, just down the block is the Super 8. It's gonna be a little bit cheaper. Um, but just let us know which one you decide. You should have received an email with links about that. Otherwise, it is on our um, on our um, additional information page. There's links to both hotels and a little bit more information on both. I will not be at orientation. I'll be um, off campus for the next couple of weeks, um, but Vicki will be back and she'll help you. We have some students lined up that are excited to meet you as well. Bethany will be around. Um, and then I'll be back on the 26th, um, the first day of class. So hopefully your travels go well, keep in contact and just let us know the exact times um, you'll be arriving and then we can help make some arrangements there and email us if you have any other questions. Anything else? Okay, oh, here's one. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Safe travels and we'll see you in a couple weeks. Oh, it looks like Alan, you have another question. You received a email from Dawn, the campus on the 19th. Um, I think we can, we, we might be able to get you in on the 19th. If you can come on the 20th, that would be better. The 20th would be a lot easier. Is the 19th is a national, is a holiday and so campus is closed. So if you can come on the 19th, that'd be a lot better. And it looks like we have a new student joining us or who joined us, um, Christina, is that, I'm hoping I pronounce your name okay. Welcome. Did you have any questions for us at all?
Doesn't look like there's any questions. So again, um, feel free to email us. Um, if you have any questions, we're happy to help. Um, hopefully this was helpful chat and we look forward to seeing you in a couple weeks. Oh, we do have a question. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yes. Um, Christina is wondering if there are any Chinese courses. Yes, we do have Chinese courses. Um, however, the beginning level starts in the fall and then continues on into the spring. So I don't believe that we'll be offering beginning Chinese, the very, very beginning Chinese um, this spring. If you have some Chinese knowledge already, you might be able to get into these, um, the more advanced level, but we'd have to find a way to test into that. Does UW Stout offer a summer internship program? Um, yes and no. Um, nothing official as far as uh, official summer internship program, but we have a lot of students who do internships in the summer and our career services can help you with that. Um, you should, we're actually um, working on some arrangements for some um, interviewing classes and sessions and um, resume writing tips and things like that to help you prepare for your search for your internship. And then they also have quite a few resources to help connect you to employers. Um, but nothing, no official program per se, but we have, we do have a lot of students who, who pursue that. Yeah, you would just work directly with the career services office <clears throat> to kind of figure out what's available and what you're interested in if it's something that um, is in line with your your program, so. Christina, um, unfortunately, we don't have any political science um, classes. We have a couple of classes, but no programs um, on our campus and nothing really with international studies. We have uh, several classes in international business, though. We also have an applied social science major that's maybe somewhat similar to what you're looking for. I guess I'm not exactly clear on what that is, but um, applied social science is kind of focused mm -hmm. in um, some of the areas that something like political science might be, so. You're welcome. Yep, thank you. All right, that, there is one more question. Is our mailing address the same as the housing address? Um, yes, yes, as far as your on-campus mailing address, Alan, um, that would be the same, um, same address and it goes into uh, boxes within each dorm or actually at the student center, I should say, and then, um, the, yeah, you would the, get your mail from the student center. There's yeah. sort of a, a, a mail area for pickup, um, but if you're thinking about, you know, giving your address to someone who wants to send you something, yes, that that mailing address would be the the same as your dorm address. I believe. Yep. Yes, um, both of you will receive our our international student health insurance provided through the university, um, and we'll talk more about that during orientation. Um, but it does cover some of the basics. If you wanted supplemental insurance to ensure more possibilities, um, you would want to get something on your own. Um, but it, our international student health insurance covers um, most emergencies and um, some of the routine things that you need as well.
Anything else you can think of? All right, well, thank you both. We look forward to meeting you in a couple of weeks. And um, like I said, email us if you have any questions. Thank you. Thank you.